So this is the normal equation for exponential growth and decay, which is f of x equals a v to, to the x power. Uh, it, for a growth equation, b is always greater than 1. Example is 3 times 2.5 to the x power. Um, What's our base in that equation there? Our base is 2.5. Okay, that makes sense. Um, for decay, our base has to be greater than 0 but less than 1. So our example is 2 times 0.2 to the x power, and the base is 0.2. All right, so that's going to be a decay function. So for the uh, for our rate of change of function, it is a to the, uh, t power equals a times 1 plus or minus r to the t power, and a equals initial amount, r equals rate of increase, and t equals time period. Okay. Does our rate always have to be a rate of increase? No, it can also be a rate of decrease, but in our example problem, it is a rate of increase. Got it. Remember PEMDAS. Why is that written there? Because when you're doing all of the equations, you must remember PEMDAS. <laughs> Got it. Okay. <laughs> and now, we have this here example problem. Mm -hmm. We're at her. And it says, some real estate agents estimate that the value of a house could increase <laughs> about 4% each year. The house value is $100,000, that's a lot of money, and you will use this here equation to figure out Got this it. here graph. All right. And so it will come out to be y equals 100,000 times 1.04. Where'd you get that 1.04 from? Oh my from? goodness, well it's right here, <gasps> oh. and you add it because it's an increase to 4%, which is... 0.04. Ah, 4% as a decimal. Interesting. Yes. Okay. So then, mm -hmm. you have to figure it all out, right? And you have to make an XY chart. Got it. To we get need, all the we need points, some points for this here graph. Got it. And that will produce what kind of function? Exponential? Growth. Growth. Very good. Thank you very much. Later. Bye. Remember PEMDAS forever. <laughs>